Hey guys, I want to tell you a story and it's a true story that happened about three or four years ago now back in Feather's Tale and it was how God reached me when I was in a very carnal state and in a state of turmoil over how I framed and looked upon and described my relationship and my faith with God. I always had problems with the concept of church. The reason being is for me as a younger man, I'd seen that church to many was simply a building they went to but didn't change the way they work. Church is not meant to be that. Church is meant to be a community of people who try to live better, who try to live by the fruits of the Spirit and to be a safe space for one another. And for all everybody inside, any congregation is imperfect as all humans are. At least they acknowledge that something should be done and a different way should be, should be pursued in the way we live. And thus, many people collectively, as a church, it's not a building, it's, it's a group of people deciding to live by putting God and faith in God first. I had a battle because I was getting so much negativity from trying to express what I thought was a deeper version of the mystic side of Christianity. For all I wasn't taking anything away from the other side of it, I was just saying, hey, look at this very fascinating side of things for me. And I just felt somehow lost because I could see the great, wonderful benefits of Christianity inside the lives of the communities I was in. I could see that the Catholic dispensary for all not a true form of Christianity, as people would say, had opened this dispensary which saved my life from malaria. I could see that churches were helping one another and they were a focal point to teach morality and to help the children. And yet somehow I felt just on the outside of that sort of version of God's worship and Christianity, I, I, I felt just external to it. And I was making a video, and in the video I was speaking about how when you're feeling very carnal, do you talk to God? And I was saying that God can't write you a letter. And this is exactly the words I used in my YouTube video I recorded. God cannot write you a letter, so how on earth do you hear what he wants for your life? I used to live in two rooms with a toilet with Fritzy and I was in a separate room in Feather's Tale in the children's village this night recording. I recorded this video and I came in, sat down with Fritzy and I said, I don't have a plan often when I make a video, I just speak and whatever comes out comes out. I, I prefer it's organic from my heart that way, is how I perceive it. When I got back in, she said, what did you speak about? And I said, I spoke that God can't write you a letter, so how do you hear him? And she said, it's a beautiful topic. And as I said it, I opened my laptop and literally as I opened my laptop, I got a message on the very minute. The time it was on my laptop opening, I got a message on Facebook from somebody I had never spoken to and had a messenger conversation with. And it was just a link with no words, <laughs> no words whatsoever. And the link said, a love letter from God. And I sent to Fritzy. <laughs> I've just received a letter from God. And she started laughing, what? And I said, come and look. And as I'd said these words to her, as I'd said, how does God possibly write you a letter? I had a letter from God. This video called The Love Letter From God was sent to me. It was just the most amazing moment. So I'll let you listen to that video. I'll just play you the video and you can see how it was for me to get this video. It was just just perfect. It was just stunning. And I'm grateful. Uh, I'm just grateful for those moments when these things happen. I later became friends with the person who sent me that video after I told her the story. And uh, now I share that moment with you all. God bless, guys. Bye. The words you are about to experience are true. They will change your life if you let them. For they come from the very heart of God. He loves you. And He is the Father you have been looking for all your life. 
this is his love letter to you. My child, you may not know me, but I know everything about you. I know when you sit down and when you rise up. I am familiar with all your ways. Even the very hairs on your head are numbered. For you were made in my image. In me, you live and move and have your being. For you are my offspring. I knew you even before you were conceived. I chose you when I planned creation. You were not a mistake. For all your days are written in my book. I determined the exact time of your birth and where you would live. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I knit you together in your mother's womb. And brought you forth on the day you were born. I have been misrepresented by those who don't know me. I am not distant and angry, but am the complete expression of love. And it is my desire to lavish my love on you. Because you are my child, and I am your father. I offer you more than your earthly father ever could. For I am the perfect father. Every good gift that you receive comes from my hand. For I am your provider and I meet all your needs. My plan for your future has always been filled with hope. I love you with an everlasting love. My thoughts toward you are countless as the sand on the seashore. And I rejoice over you with singing. I will never stop doing good to you. You are my treasured possession. I desire to establish you with all my heart and all my soul. And I want to show you great and marvelous things. If you seek me with all your heart, 
you will find me. Delight in me and I will give you the desires of your heart. For it is I who gave you those desires. I am able to do more for you than you could possibly imagine. For I am your greatest encourager. I am also the Father who comforts you in all your troubles. When you are broken-hearted, I am close to you. As a shepherd carries a lamb, I have carried you close to my heart. One day, I will wipe away every tear from your eyes. I'll take away all the pain you have suffered on this earth. I am your father, and I love you even as I love my son Jesus. For in Jesus my love for you is revealed. He is the exact representation of my being. He came to demonstrate that I am for you, not against you. And to tell you that I am not counting your sins, Jesus died so that you and I could be reconciled. His death was the ultimate expression of my love for you. I gave up everything I loved that I might gain your love. If you receive the gift of my son Jesus, you receive me. And nothing will ever separate you from my love again. Come home and I'll throw the biggest party heaven has ever seen. I have always been father, and will always be father. My question is, will you be my child? I am waiting for you.